Welcome to new tutorial series here on my channel. My name is Dennis Kretel and this new series will guide you through the first steps into MySQL. MySQL is a powerful open source database management system which is used in many companies and because it's free it's perfectly to learn with it. We will set up a MySQL server as well as a SQL development environment and I will show you what you can do with the power of SQL. Although we use MySQL mostly everything is easily to adapt to other SQL languages as well. We will jump right into the configuration of our environment. First of all we will download MySQL server. You can use the official standalone server from the MySQL homepage or any other MySQL server you like. We will take use of the Apache XM project XAMPP is a collection of web development tools, mostly for PHP developers, but it also contains a MySQL server. It's really easy to use because it got a solid basic configuration, so we don't need to stress with the configuration of the server. So this is the ApacheFriends.org website where you can download the XAMPP tools. I will link the page down in the description. So you can get it from there. We will use XAMPP 1.8.3 so I will download this here. So my download finished and we will need an SQL editor as well. For the SQL editor I choose MySQL Workbench which can be found on the mysql.com official website. I will link this one as well. It's a powerful tool for administrating a database so it contains way more functions than we will need. You can also choose any other editor as well. All the examples will work with it. We go to download, scroll down here and we choose the version 6.2.3. Download it. And now we can start installing the software. So first of all I will install the exam server I will rush through the installation because there is nothing special to notice. So you go for next. You can uncheck those things if you want because we only need the MySQL server. If you don't want to install a special MySQL editor, you can also use the PHP MyAdmin which comes with a basic web interface to administrate the database. So you can choose whatever folder you want and it will install. So the installation finished. So now the control panel will start. Here it is and here you see we got the Apache web server installed as well as the MySQL server. If you want to do some configurations on your server you can just click config my.any and you can change any settings you want here but the default settings are fine for us. So we will click start. The server is running. The firewall pops up. We accept it and the server is running. You see it the port is blocked for MySQL. Default port of MySQL is 3306 and to connect to this server we will have to install our workbench or whichever editor you choose. Maybe you get this message, so then you would need to click Download Prerequisites, which opens up your web browser and leads you to the MySQL Prerequisites site, where you can download the .NET Framework 4 and the Visual C++ 2013 package. So I will download them as well and install them. Maybe you didn't even need them. So if you install all pre-requirements, you will get this setup with it and it can just click next and it will install. So the installation finished and we check launch MySQL workbench now to finish and it will open up right now. When it started up the first time for you it will look like this one here. So what we first need to do is create a new connection to our local MySQL server so we take this small plus button connection 
You can choose whatever connection name you like, so I will choose localhost because this is my server. So the host name can stay the same. Username is root. This is the default one configured on your exam MySQL server. So you click test connection and you see the parameters are correct. So the default password is empty. We don't need a password to connect to our server. We click OK. You get a new entry here. Clicking that one will connect to our MySQL server and here we are. And we see there are some default schemas on our server. A uh, schema is a collection of different tables as well as views, procedures or functions. So on these points we will step into the next videos. You see some management uh, tools here which we will mostly ignore because they only exist in the MySQL workbench or some advanced SQL editors and you can do most of this stuff with SQL commands as well. So if you see those tables down here you have successfully connected to your MySQL server and in the next tutorial we will start creating a new schema creating tables and columns. This is all we need for our start for starting this tutorial series. If you have any questions write a comment and I hope I see you soon.